Hi, this is Anna, and this is Check It at the Roundtable, where we discuss movies, books, music, and stuff. Today, we are discussing My Tooth for Your Love, Episode 7. This episode, I thought, was very interesting in many different ways, but it opens up with us showing a flashback of Jin, or Anne, however you want to call him, in college, and he's Basically, it's when he first met his senior, who was his friend. Now, in the series, we are supposed to believe that Jin or Anne wants to be with his senior. I'm really not convinced at this point that that was the case at all from watching the series. Because I think, you know, it's one thing to be good friends with someone. It's another thing to want to have a romantic relationship with them, to be quite honest. So at this point, I'm going... Jin or Anne had found a friend and I think for Anne or Jin that was a really difficult thing for him because he was so shy and basically introspective it'd be a nice word for it so anyway the first part of the series is about basically how Anne or Jin had his friendship develop with this senior who was an acquaintance of his and how he helped him with tutoring and helped him at the college and helped with his sister and they became really good friends and basically that senior helped to draw him out of his shell during his college years. There's also a part where it says you know we don't really know in life how People are going to either be in our lives for maybe like a couple of bus stops, as it were, metaphorically, or for the long haul when it comes to our relationships with them. And so as we're going through that in Jin's or Anne's narration, we then go back to Bai and Jin at the office. I'm going to call him Jin because it's easier for me or Anne, depending, because I'm not good at doing both names at once. But anyway... So Bai is convinced that Anne would like to be with the senior. And they're talking at the um, dental office when the senior comes in and surprises Jin with coming back to Taiwan. And Bai just leaves very quickly and says, I'm, I'm done talking. I don't need anything else. Bye. Have a good day. And the senior's like, is that a, is that a patient of yours or a friend? And um, Jin says, well, he's both. He's both for me. And so Jin and the senior are talking with one another. And the senior tells Jin that he's back to Taiwan for a long time. He His son does not like his steamed rice because he cannot cook. And also he tells um, Jin that he got divorced recently. So he's not going back to wherever he was before. Jin then gets an order from Bai's restaurant. And instead of Bai delivering it, this hockey player, which again, I'm not sure what the hockey player's role is in the series. He's kind of a strange character. And I really don't know what this point is in the show, except to maybe add comedic levity, levity you know, way that I don't really quite understand because it's a bit slapstick. But anyway, the hockey player comes and gives Jin's assistant a ticket to the hockey game because he wants him to come see him play hockey because he helped him with his teeth. So anyway, and then the dentist is like, I really don't care about ice hockey. This is not very fun for me. I don't want to come. I never said I would come to your game. So anyway, the hockey player brings in the food and Jin realizes that Bai is avoiding him, so he ends up going to Bai's restaurant and dragging him back to the office saying, your tooth hurts, we must get you examined. And Alex, who is Bai's assistant, is like, well, I'll take care of the restaurant, see you later. And Bai's like, please, find an excuse for me to stay here. Anyway, so um, Bai is back at the dental office. He also has been having trouble sleeping because he's worried about stuff. And he doesn't really know exactly what he's worried about I think would be the main thing because like with Bai he really does want Jin to end up with someone who makes him very happy and content and all that but he has no clue at all that Jin likes him he's going well he he likes the senior he wants to be with them it'll make his world better and happier and all that and so anyway Bai goes back to the dental office and he falls asleep at the dental office because he hasn't been sleeping well and he just conked in the chair. Well, then he gets back up and Jin is like, 
did you have a good sleep? Are you comfortable? And um, Pai just leaves and says, basically, you know, even though our offices are our work is close together, we don't have to meet all the time. My tooth is fine. You don't need to see me. I'm good. Go, go have your life. Enjoy your time. And Jin is like, you're coming for weekly visits. I'm going to check your teeth on a weekly basis. So just get used to that. Well, then we go to Jin and Bai are at the restaurant near the end of this episode. And at this point, um, the thing I think is interesting about Bai, or Jin, not Bai, Jin, is Bai is such a cold exterior person. He's very not seeming to care about people at all kind of person. But when he does care about someone, he is so over the top about caring about them. It's kind of fun to watch because it's like when he's at the restaurant with Bai, he says, you need to sit down. You've been working too hard. You need to rest. And he basically just pulls him down and sets him every side and puts his arm around and goes, just rest. And Bai doesn't know what to do with this because in a way, I think it's interesting how Bai is so much that way on his own nature. But when someone else is that way with them, they don't know how to handle that, if that makes sense, which I think is kind of funny because it's like turn about fair play. But anyway, we also have a slight side note with Alex and He Quien. I'm not really sure where to go with that one because that that's just so far kind of annoying at this point. I mean, no offense. Now, I do like the character of Alex. He's a very likable character. I think in many ways I can relate to Alex more than probably any other character in the show because he's so nonplussed about everything. It's like, da 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 He's kind of just like the older Nuna in the show telling everyone, you know, go take this drink to someone. Don't avoid things because they're difficult. Deal with it. I don't know. I don't know why I would relate to that at all. But anyway, okay, moving on. So at this point in time, I'm not really sure what Alex and He Quien's character it doesn't make a lot of sense yet, but maybe in episode 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, it will make more sense. At this point, I just have to say, I like Alex. I really have, um, I think He Quien could develop into an interesting character, but at this point, he's just kind of annoying. So we're at the end of episode seven. And at this point, we have a scene where Bai takes Jin outside and is talking to him and says, you know, if you keep acting this way, we're not going to be able to be friends. And he's like, you know, I don't, I don't want you to not have a good life. I want you to have, and what he doesn't realize is that Jin wants to be with Bai, but Bai is convinced that Jin wants to be with his senior. I'm really looking forward to episode, not the next one, because I think they're going to leave it kind of a mess mess, but the episode nine, I think will be quite good, and we'll get to kind of see how this plays out. Episode eight, I think is just going to be kind of a topsy-turvy mess, because it's episode eight. But anyway, and that is my review of episode seven of My Tooth for Your Love. You can watch this on Vicky Rukaton, and I have the premium membership to avoid the ads. Check it at the round table. Bye.